Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. These are the two Dior items I picked up from their Spring Summer 2020 collection, or Dior will call it their summer collection because that was their runway. And I showed this in my January 2020 Paris haul video. It's too ready to wear, as you can see. This is a short sleeve shirt and this is a long sleeve shirt. And I'll try these on in this video as well, give you a little bit more detail. So these come with a special tag. It is just, it's just a paper tag, but it's the Daniel Arsham collaboration, which isn't actually every piece though, but I think they attached it to pretty much most of the spring, summer 2020 items, or at least they're ready to wear. And they are still using this for the extra buttons and the collar stays. And this design was implemented by Eddie Slimon when he first started Dior Homme, like, I think it's been almost, it's definitely over 10 years. I think it might be close to 20 years. So this is the shirt that I knew I definitely wanted to get. I really like the pattern and the gray, the monochrome color of it. And it has the Daniel Arsham motif. I mean, this isn't a 3D object where it's the eroded goods, but it does have the design. And it even has the saddle as well, the eroded saddle, which was on the runway, but it turns out they didn't actually produce it. And then you have this, which was made as a small leather good as well. You have the basketball, the telephone, which is something Daniel Arsham has done in his sculptures and then these letters were the eroded letters were at the set of the runway show so it's just an all over pattern it's a hidden button placket so that it doesn't interrupt the pattern because when you close it it matches up pretty well although near the top it doesn't match up as exact so like here the i matches up and when you close this the d matches pretty well but like up here it didn't match as well and even in the photos it doesn't do that so it's not like it was a manufacturing error it's just the way the fabric was cut it has the new uppercase logo but it's still the same gray tag which is a tribute to christian dior so the back is just the pattern and i did get this altered but because it's a short sleeve i didn't get the sleeves altered and this was my regular size as a 37 and a pretty much the shoulders fit me pretty well so i didn't need that to be taken in the only thing i had done was i had it shortened because i wanted a more tailored fit so that's the only thing i did this is what the back side of the print looks like and this is called a gray technical canvas and but what it is is it's actually a hundred percent viscose so that's the care tag this is the size 37 which is equivalent to an extra small made in italy and you can't wash it i mean this material you can technically wash it but you just never know how it's going to affect the color and the texture after you do it but i do have a hundred percent viscose shirts that i have washed this one the texture though does feel a little bit more rough than my other visco shirts it feels like there's more structure to it so i don't mean that it feels like it scratches your skin but it just feels more sturdy if that makes sense like the weave is more pronounced so this one you can actually still order it online this size mo i think all the sizes are pretty much available it's 990 dollars, and that's actually one of the things where it doesn't make me jump to buy the new dior ohm goods as much as because they tend to be always in stock so then i just noticed on the buttons it has dior etched on the bottom of each as well these are mother of pearl gray mother of pearl buttons so that's the first shirt and if you stay tuned i'm going to try both of them on this was the item it was I didn't even remember it, but when I saw it and they did have it in my size and I tried it on and I decided I wanted to collect something for, with the newspaper print or at least a new one. So I ended up getting this. It wasn't an intentional purpose, but it's what happens when you go into the store and they have it in your size and you decide to try it on. So the newspaper print was made famous by Galliano. And it was like, I think it was featured in Sex and the City as well when the main character wore a dress with the newspaper print for Dior. And Galliano also carried the newspaper motif to his own line as well. 
this is kind of an updated one. I believe this logo was created by Chris Van Asch, or it was used when he was there at Dior Om. That's the Daniel Arsham. So actually, this does have Daniel Arsham because that's the eroded D as well as there's an eroded clock here as well. The eroded, there's an eroded telephone here too. And then you have the, the sans serif font here, CD Dior, which was used in the show. So that's like the new design. And then everything else is more of a newspaper, newspaper print. And this is the oblique line, which is the collection that Kim is using. And it's basically, it's just a print all over. There aren't any other special details besides the print just being all over the shirt. And it doesn't necessarily continue through the seams, but because it's such a busy pattern, you don't really notice if things are lining up or not. The back, of course, is one solid pattern, but it's meant to look like stacked paper, which you can see better in the back as one continuous fabric. There aren't any shadow lines or outlines of the paper, but you can see through like the white margins where each page is kind of starting and ending. So this one, same with the short sleeve, I got it shortened. And also when I tuck it, like this one, I would probably wear it tucked. It just doesn't bunch up as much. So it's just a better fit, especially if I'm going to be wearing slim trousers with this. So I also got the sleeves shortened because they're always almost too long. So this is the care tag. It's also size 37, which is like an extra small or 14 and a half shirt size in the US made in Italy. And this is actually a mix of cotton and silk. So 57% cotton, 43% silk, and of course it's dry clean only because of the mix. So this one I didn't find on the US website, but it wasn't, the Euro price wasn't too big of a difference with the short sleeve. So if the short sleeve was 990, I imagine this is probably 1100, maybe 12, 1200 around there. And it's funny, this is saying it's the summer collection of 3020 which is part of, it's Daniel Arsham's thing of, around like eroded modern objects because so much time has passed. So it's like looking to the, it's a newspaper from the future, which is kind of oxymoronic that, you know, they would still be printing newspaper in the future.
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check out my Instagram page at Sartorial Phil. I have the latest updates and exclusive content on there as well. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.